Rainbow, long live rock and roll. Ronnie Dio, the man. Richie Blackmore, man, I still say that dude's underrated. Richie Blackmore is insanely innovative. Um, long live rock and roll. This is for Richard Hayday. So, um, you know, memory lane too, because I remember my older brother when I was a kid. He had the the album Rainbow, Long Live Rock and Roll, where it has all the all five faces on it. Bob Daisley on bass and all that stuff. And uh, I remember drawing on the album and then realized when I was done, why the hell did I just do this? My brother's going to be pissed. And I tried to erase it off the album. Stupid me. I was a kid, you know. And it just started shredding everything. So, you know, just funny how little things spark memories. But Dio is one of my favorite all-time singers. Richie Blackmore is phenomenal. He doesn't. He's not talked about enough. He's, when you hear him play, it's like Carlos Santana or Jimmy Page. You can tell. Or Steve Ray Vaughan. I mean, you can tell when you hear his, his playing, it's Richie Blackmore. So, uh, so check it out. Here's what we're going to learn. Standard tuning, you're going to start with power chords, F, F sharp and G, 1, E, 3, A. Move it a half step sharp to 2 and 4, and then see, 3, E, 5, A, and then go. Okay, third fret D and G, third finger, slide it up to five. So you're barring it. And then go, if you listen close, you'll hear Blackmore doing this. It's three G, pick, hammer to four, and pull off back to three. So it's a pick, hammer, pull. And then five D. So. That part, so. Then bar the third fret A and D, hit those two and pull them off to opens, and then do it again. So you have, and then do the three A and D, and then five D. So, it's, so you have. And then three E again, and then. You'll go 3G, slide to 5, 3G, uh, quarter step bend, and 5D. And then do this barred third fret A and D, pulling off to opens. So you have this little thing. So, and you do the 3A and D, and then 5D. Then you start it over, minus the F and the F sharp. Well, we'll just start on the 3E. E. That's the next thing. So, that's the third little chunk there, and then he goes. You'll go five, these are just pentatonic chunks here. Five, three on the D, and he just little slight bends on them. I think starting on the third fret D though. And then 5A, 3A, 1A, and then 3E. I think he just bends the 3D. Did I say 3E at the end? So. Then 
you do the F power chord and the F sharp power chord. 1E, 3A, 2E, 4A. We're going to learn that part now. 3E twice, 5D once, that's the octave. And then back to 3E twice. And then 5D again, but this time pull off to the third fret. And you have 5A. So it's. Okay? So let's see how many times that goes. Three times of that. So we have. Then you'll go twice on 3E again. And then 5D, pull off to 3. And this part's a little tricky because you want to go. So you'll pull off to the 3 and then you want to catch the 3G. So you got to shift that down quickly. Quarter step, bend it. And then 5D, pull off to 3. And then 5A. So. Okay, and then you start it again. And then, uh, so it's three of those. And then I think he just hits the, the 3E, if I'm not mistaken. Try it again. Let me try the whole chunk from here. Um. Yep. And then, so that'll ring. And then you go. So 3E and open A and then 1A. And then open A and 3E. And then 1E. So it's. And then 3E open A. And then 3 1 on the A. And then open A, 3E. So it's. 1D, open D, 3 and 1 on the A, and then 3E with your index, because you're going to hit the octave, which is on 5D after that. So you have... Then start it over. to there though you don't do the you cut that one off and instead you go so 1e 3a it's an F power chord triple it triple it triple it triple it triple it triple it so here's where music gets like math triple it triple it triple it triple it triple it triple it you're actually following the drum roll uh, triplets are three, right? So three times six is eighteen. So hopefully you won't have to count it like that, but you'll hear the drums tick it tick it tick it tick it tick it tick it You're following that, and you have to alternate strum down up down up. If you can't get it, if you're struggling on it, slow it down and do six groups of three. You know what I mean? Think of it that way. And then you'll hit it one last time, and then move it to a 2-4, and then you're back to the chorus. He doesn't do that. But. Anyways, there you go. Did I say who this was for? Ah, uh, shoot, where did it go? I think I did, man. Yeah, Richard Hayday. So, uh, there you go, buddy. Hope that works for you. Work on it slow. Actually, whoever's on this lesson, obviously you're here to learn it. Your chances are. Um, but break this stuff down slow. Take your time with it. 
One thing I used to do was, uh, if it, even if it was a metal song, Ozzy, Queensryche, Scorps, back in the day, sometimes I'd play it on the clean channel if I was having trouble getting it, getting the articulation there, you know, and, and having it feel right. So clean channel, distortion, face it, man, it, it covers up your mistakes real easy. So uh, take some of this challenging, harder stuff, play it on the clean channel, um, and if there's a mistake, you'll hear it. If there's a muted note, you'll hear it, where you may not if you're playing on the distortion. Doesn't sound as good, but the idea is, you know, you're getting it down and having it sound right. So, um, Richie Blackmore, man, I'm kind of going through a Richie Blackmore phase right now. He's so good. Um, both my channels, youtube.com slash rockingguitarlessons1 and rockingguitarlessons2. Make sure you subscribe to both. Anything musical, if it carries a pitch, make the request and I'll get it done for you. It doesn't even have to be a guitar part. Just if, you, if it's something you want transcribed on guitar from a flute, clarinet, saxophone, whatever, I'll do it for you. And obviously songs as well. Um, and I do put in the extra work to, to try and represent the way these guitar players are actually playing them. Every one of these. Except for my first like 15 or 20 when I first uh, opened my channel. I kept everything in standard tuning. I didn't know. It was like a new thing to me when I first opened up my channel. But outside of that, um, you know, 99% of, of the tunings and all that is right and everything. So anyways, have fun with it guys. I, I'm, a, I'm also a private teacher. Uh, I've been teaching since 1992, and um, I'm still in a couple stores now in my studio, and I'm doing Skype lessons as well, and um, those are going fabulous, man. My uh, subscribers slash students are, are really learning that route. They're personal lessons. We can work on whatever you want. They're $50 an hour, $25 for half an hour. Um, you make payment through my pay, using my PayPal email, which is tbxpunk at aol.com. Um, my Skype name is Rockin' Guitar Lessons. All this stuff's in the description down below, by the way, so if you miss it, rewind this or read below, because I don't talk about everything that's in the description. It would take too long. But, um, yeah, send me a couple sentences. You know how long you've been playing, some, some uh, bands, guitar players that you like, and maybe some goals, some stuff you want to work on. If you're not sure and you're just like, I just want to get better, I'll know where to take you. But as long as I've been teaching, I know that most people want to learn how to play songs and uh, usually accurately. So, um, and I could do simplified versions if you want to, but if you're interested, hit me up. Um, only add me on Skype if you plan on taking lessons. All my Skype friends are actual Skype students of mine from around the world, and um, it's easier for me to keep track of that way. My PayPal email, once again, tbxpunk at aol.com. Uh, if you'd like to donate to this channel, that's the email you would use as well. You don't have to have a PayPal account. All you need is my email and it prompts you how to do it. It's real simple. Um, my website rockingguitarlessons.com coming within 30 days you guys. Yes, we've got it pinpointed. Um, I'm just, just stoked about it. So be watching for that. I've got some cool things coming up. I get emails daily about you know where's the where's the website and I've uh, been having those for month after month after month and it was out of my control. Now it's in my control so we can uh, get this going for you guys. Appreciate you all. Um, you can add me, like I said, on Facebook, Twitter. Read the description below. Take my videos, spread them around Facebook, the internet land. Tell your buddies that are in bands, all that good stuff. And uh, I think that's it. I don't think I left anything out. We'll talk to you guys later. Have fun with this. See ya.